nice car. Three months. Three months it took me to buy this car, clean it, get it ready, and now finally list it for sale. I did everything absolutely wrong. Everything you should never do, I did with this Mercedes, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Here's my story. My name is Craig. Welcome to Flying Wheels. This is my YouTube channel. So three months ago, I bought this 2006 Mercedes CLS 55 AMG, a supercharged V8, Awesome, super fun, incredible car. $120,000 car, brand new. I bought it for $1,850, shipped to my door. There's a lot more to it than that, though. This car is a rocket ship that massages your back while doing it. It's unbelievable. And they're retail for like 15 to 20 grand. This is an 06 with 101,000 miles. If this car was clean and in perfect condition, it would be about a $16,000 car. But it's not perfect. And who are we kidding? Neither are you. But it's a fun ride, just like your girlfriend. And it's all right looking, just like your girlfriend. It's a good car that's a lot of fun, that's fast as hell. It has a reconstructed title. What is a reconstructed title? A reconstructed title is a brand on your title, meaning it has been in an accident, or has been in a flood, or it has been in a theft, or something has happened to this car which necessitates the repairs of the vehicle to be more than the value of the vehicle. So the owner gets a check for the amount of the vehicle back, and then the car goes to auction or the car goes to the insurance company or the owner buys the car back from the insurance company and now they have to repair what was wrong according to the insurance specs. Then they get it reinspected and then they get a new title with a brand reissuing rebuilt title or stating rebuilt title. That's what this car is. Why did I buy it, you may ask? Well, I'm a glutton for punishment. I just can't help myself. I own a car dealership not because I want to sell cars, because I like cars and I want to buy cars and I want to drive cars and I like the projects. Should I have bought it? Hell no. I should have never bought that thing. I should have stayed a thousand feet clear from it. But I can't help myself. It was fun while it lasted and it made two good videos at least. I hope. I think. But anyway, I'm going to tell you all about this car. How I got it. How much I paid for it. How much I have into it. And it doesn't look so bad anymore now, right? Well, like my damn dog that can't keep his head off its trash even though he knows it's not supposed to, I couldn't help but buy this Mercedes CLS AMG. <laughs> it is... An absolute turd, but I bought it online, sight unseen. The price was just, I, I just couldn't resist it. I, it's a supercharged 5.4 liter V8, 469 horsepower, like 517 foot pounds of torque, supercharged monster. It's cracked up there, it's missing all kinds of front end components, lights, and are these sheet metal screws? Those are sheet metal screws. More lights on this side. I can't really tell if the suspension's off or if those are the wrong wheels. Those are AMG wheels. Look at those freaking calipers. Those are AMG wheels and I think they're gonna clean up. But look at the gap between the wheel and the fender. So I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of the whole thing because it has hit everything but the lottery. But look at how the paint's like chipped off on the edges, the bumper. The wheels are all beat up. I think those are gonna actually clean up pretty well. So, holy moly, look at this thing. How do people have a Mercedes AMG and treat it like this? Shame on you, shame, shame. And Here's my favorite part and why I bought this beauty. I say that being facetious. AMG supercharged 469 horsepower V8 with a five speed automatic transmission that still runs and drives. Maybe I could turn it into a drag car. Holy moly, look at all these parts. We have some, what, control arms, new control arms. Those, I'll put those in. Are these HID ballasts or like Xenon ballasts? Mercedes is detailed and looks like a completely different car. Bumper's off because German's prepping the bumper. He's repairing all the scratches. Guess who's back? Hi. Back again. <laughs> this is back. So, I'm going to go through the Mercedes real quick because it's not completely finished. I'm going to have... Alyssa do some of the work to it. We got German doing the bumper in there. As Alyssa mentioned, we still have the Mustang taking up space over there. <laughs> so if you guys saw the video before, you all saw how rough this thing was. Now look how clean it was. We have the wheel spacers on the way, so there's not going to be such a big gap right there. They look good like this, but not like that. And the first thing you said when you came in was what? It's a nice car. <laughs> nice car. So already we're making improvements. What a thing that I want to show everybody so we had a rip in the passenger seat, Alyssa, mm -hmm. right here. 
And what I did was sew the leather, and then I had some suede, leftover mm-hmm. suede in the shop. Mm-hmm. So I traced it out, and then I used like a spray adhesive, mm-hmm. and then patched over the rip. So if you look here, the seat has some suede already. Oh, that's not really good so idea. I just matched yeah, the suede. Yeah, it just kind of blends in. It blends in. So now nobody would even know or even question it. Those seats are massaging seats, Ooh. heated seats, nav, sunroof, nice. 500 horsepower. Not only is a V8 like you were just asked, it's a supercharged V8. has 520 horsepower. I'll have you pull this out, and I'll put the Mustang in this bay. car sounds so good. It's actually coming out way nicer than, yeah, right in that spot. It's coming out way nicer than I expected it to come out. Well, we have the bumper off. The car has been detailed and looks amazing. And these bumpers were like $600 everywhere we looked. So we pulled the bumper off and we're doing all the body work to it. And that's just not body filler. We reinforced it on the back side of the bumper on every crack and then filled it with fiberglass. So it still has some flex to it and then we'll prime it and paint it. Body work on the fender here. Headlights buffed here. <laughs> AMG shining there. A little rim restoration because German shining over here. Mercedes AMG supercharged cleaning. This is how it's done. This needs a video to appreciate. So you guys saw what it looked like before. This is the after. Hand built by Sophia somebody. Updates. Taped off, wet sanded, ready for paint. We're gonna blend the quarter just because there was a little bit of body work that needed to be done right there. Not even body work, the paint was chipping off. And then over here, is the bumper ready for primer paint is done blend is done now it's going in for wet sand and buff bumpers also finished the blend on the back quarter of the Mercedes has also been blended on the front fender and was wet sand is now being buffed here thanks to this guy Finished product, bumper is on. This is the definition of making chicken soup out of chicken excrement, as my grandfather, Papa Al, would say. That bumper came out pretty damn good. Those bumpers were like $600 everywhere online, and we brought this one back to life. You'll see there's still a little bit of, like the hood is slightly out of alignment here. And I'm going to let you guys in on a little trick. See those grills right there? Those grills were missing and they were crazy expensive online. I went to the hardware store and I bought this right here, mesh wire. I bought that, we truck bedded it black and we pop riveted in there and it looks pretty damn good, I think. German did a great job with the blend, German did a great job with the paint. We blacked out the Benz emblem right there. Looks pretty damn fly, I think. Sadly, the tint on the reverse lens has to come off, which didn't really make sense anyway. Why would you tint a reverse light? You need that light to back up and see where you're going. Legally, you can't have it tinted. Once again, German's at it. You got rid of the tint and buffed those taillights. 
and blended that bumper last night. So look at how nice the bumper came out. And now you can see the gloss on it as well. This guy is a magician. The other thing he did was align that hood better. So just a few seconds ago, I showed you that hood didn't align and he figured it out. So it took me three months to finish this thing. I bought it like December 10th, midwinter, beginning of winter. And here it is March 3rd, almost three months to the date. I bought that thing and it kind of sat on the back burner. It was rougher than I thought. I don't know, it was in rough shape and it needed some work and I was getting ready for tax time so I kept putting other projects in front of it. So I do a little bit of this and then I work on two cars. Then I do a little bit of this, then I work on two cars. But the thing that held me up the longest, I mean this car should have been ready a month and a half ago. The silliest thing, freaking lug bolts. So you'll see right here, I put some wheel spacers in. Well, because I put some wheel spacers in, Mercedes doesn't use lug nuts, they use lug bolts that go all the way into the hub. So I went on eBay, first mistake, bought some wheel spacers and lug bolts. I was sent the wheel spacers and the wrong lug bolts. So I sent the wheel spacers back, long story. That was a, that was a month and a half process. So that alone, lug bolts, took me a month and a half. And if the car was a priority, I obviously would have pushed it harder, but it wasn't. It sat on the back burner. It was parked in the corner of my lot. I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. It wasn't really that big of a deal for me. Plus, I wanted to wait till the weather was nicer to sell a rear wheel drive supercharged race car. Luxury race car. So it's finished. The lug bolts are in. The car is done. And it looks pretty damn good. Why don't you guys tell me what you think? So here's the finished product. I did a lot, a lot, a lot to this car, but I'm not going to do everything because I can't over invest in this car. I mean, these little tow hook caps I didn't put that in I showed you how I did the front bumper grill the mesh grill the tires a little curved on the outside but the brake pads are good I did ball joints I did tie rods actually did control control arms excuse me I have the hiccups now too I love the exhaust and I showed you our blend if the Sun wasn't blazing on it you guys would never know you can see it right there right there but it's only because the Sun is beaming on it and that's a silver which is so hard to match so that's pretty damn good. If that was in the shade, you would never know. Look at it right there, can't even tell. Rear end, rear bumper looks good. Remember all these were like all scuffed up. We painted the bumper. This side came out excellent. Front bumper again, the whole bumper came off. That took a lot of work. Oh, my favorite part. Look at how nice this engine bay came out. It even has the hand, handcrafted by someone. I don't know. Here's my favorite part. I'm gonna roll down my window because you probably don't even need to. But... It sounds so good and it's so fast. So here it is in the shade. I wanted to show you the difference. In the shade, you can't even tell. Here's my favorite part. Ready? I'm proud of this. I should have been an upholsterer. So this leather, has suede on the sides from the factory. Well, if you remember, there was a rip in the seat. So what did I do? I actually had some suede in my shop. I put some suede here. You wouldn't, if I didn't just tell you this right now, you would never know. Found the original factory floor mats on both sides in the trunk. Look at how mint the interior is. A little bit of a crack right there. Oh, you can't see it, but now you can. Nav, touch screen, heated, Massaging chairs. These chairs are like $1,200 each because they're up and down and forward and back and they massage. Useless to me because I have three kids and it's only a four passenger. But these buckets look so comfortable. What's in here? Nothing. Does that fold down? Ah, oh, cup holders. Storage. Storage. Are these rear he rears heated? It doesn't look it. Shame, Mercedes. Shit, what is this? Oh, cool, an ashtray. Found a ton of spare parts in here. All kinds of things. I'm just going to keep it in there. Extra AMG wheel in the trunk. I am so freaking pumped at how this car came out. I'm not going to keep it for myself. It's up for sale. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to list it for probably around $79.95. Does it need work? Yeah, little things here and there. Is it drivable? Yes, it's drivable every day. These little things, because I'm not gonna do it all. Actually, I found a receipt. Let's see what I did to it. So here is all the detail work that we did. The interstate inspection, we did an air filter, driver side inner tie rod, passenger side inner tie rod, wheel spacers, both front lower ball joints. So that's in parts, plus our time on body. 
Most of our time and money was spent putting makeup on this pig. We spent a lot of time making it look presentable. Lots and lots of time. So I'm probably into it for like another thousand in labor. Plus I paid, say two grand, say I paid two grand, plus I'm into it for a thousand, plus I'm into it for parts and labor. So I'm into it for like four, four thousand dollars ish now in three months. So anyone running a car dealership, you never want to invest three months into recon on a car. Recon is cleaning and repairs, getting it ready for sale. Three months is a big, huge no-no, but that thing, again, was a side project. It was on the back burner. Kind of a cool project and it made some fun for us and made some neat videos on our Instagram channel. Instagram channel link right here. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this is probably like a 15-ish thousand dollar car. If it was clean, if it had a clean title, if it was perfect, it would be maybe even a little bit more than 15,000. I'd probably ask like 18,000. I'm gonna list it for 79.95 on my website. If somebody wants it, any of my YouTube followers, any of my YouTube subscribers, anybody on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, I'll sell it for 5,800 bucks. If somebody wants a supercharged V8 Mercedes CLS 5500, 55 with 101,000 miles, I'll sell it for whatever I just said. YouTube special. Hit me up on my website, link down below, www.flying-wheels.com. It's for sale now. It was a fun project, but now I don't need it. So if anybody wants it, let me know. Guys, thank you for watching all my videos. If this video was at all entertaining, if you enjoy my misery or my enthusiasm on projects like this, make sure to subscribe down below right here, I think. Maybe right here, I never get this right. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe down below so you get all of my videos. Watch all my videos. And then hang on, someone's calling me. And also, there's a little bell down below. Hit the bell, you get notifications every time I make a new video. I'll see you later. Thank you always for watching my stuff. I'll see you later, adios.